Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. Our previous videos were completely descriptive in nature, but in this video, we are going to get our hands dirty. Let us deploy our first application in Pivotal Cloud Foundry. For this example, I have created a simple Spring Boot application that has a git mapping and it will return a string. The pom.xml has just a web starter pack. It doesn't have any other dependencies. Let me open up the controller. As I mentioned earlier, it is a REST controller with a simple get mapping that returns application successfully deployed. We don't have to run this application in local since this is a very simple application. I'm going to skip the part of running and testing it in our local. We will directly deploy it in the Pivotal Cloud Foundry. Before our deployment, we need to package the application. For this, I'm going to right click and run as Maven build. Okay, the build is success and we have the jar generator. Let us take a look at the jar. It should be in the target folder. So I have the Spring Boot Pivotal Cloud Foundry 0 0.0.1 .0 snapshot.jar. This is the jar that we are going to use to deploy to Pivotal Cloud Foundry. Let us move on to the Pivotal CLI environment. Okay, before we start using the CLI environment, you need to log in into the CLI. For this, let us type CF first. When you type in CF, it gives you the list of available commands that you can make use of to interact with the Pivotal Cloud Foundry. So our login will be CF space login or CF space L. So let us type in CF space login. Now you can type in your email address that you have associated to create a Pivotal account and then type in the password. The authentication is successful and Pivotal wants us to select a space where this application is going to be deployed. I'm going to deploy it to my development space. Now the environment is connected and we are ready to go. In order to deploy an application to Pivotal Clone Foundry, you have to use the command called CF push. CF push is available in the application lifecycle. You, you have apps, push, start, stop, restart, and there are other commands that you can make use of. CF apps gives the list of applications in your Pivotal Cloud Foundry environment. It gives the status of the application, whether it's started, it is running, or it is down whether it's crash. The CF push command is like this. CF push. You have to give the app name. I'm going to give Spring Boot Pivotal app. Then you have to give the path where the jar is located. Since I reside in the same directory where my Spring Boot application is available, I'm just going to mention target slash the actual jar file here. And then you also have to mention the build pack. Build pack is used by Pivotal Cloud Foundry to build your application according to the underlying system. For example, if your application a PHP, right, you will have a different set of PHP build packs. So the same goes for .NET and other you know, technologies. Our build pack will be a Java build pack. This information is available in the Pivotal Cloud Foundry's document reference. Let me paste the bill back here and let me click on enter. Before I click on enter, if you don't mention this bill pack, what will happen is Pivotal will download all the bill packs available and it will automatically detect the bill pack that is apt for your application. But the process will take some time. So in order to avoid, it is always advisable to mention the bill pack when you do a CF push. I'm going to click on enter and now our cloud controller comes into action and it will start all the processes and steps that I mentioned in my previous video. Our droplet tarball is created now and it is waiting for the applications to start. Okay, looks like it is successfully completed. So our application has been successfully pushed to the Pivotal Cloud Foundry environment and the state is running. We can still check this by typing in CF apps. 
CF apps will give the list of applications that is deployed into the Pivotal Cloud Foundry and their current status. The current status of our Spring Boot Pivotal app is started. Okay, let us go on to the web console and take a look at how this thing has got deployed and let us access the URL to see if our application is working in the Pivotal Cloud environment. Okay, so the status is crashed now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give click on the refresh just to make sure if this is a previous status or if the current status has not been updated yet. Just as I mentioned, looks like the current status was not updated and when I refresh the browser, the current status is now updated. Now we could see that our application has been successfully deployed. Pivotal has already mapped a route for our application and Pivotal has already mapped a route for our application. Let us click on this URL and see whether our application is working fine or not. Okay, so looks like we got the white label error page and I believe that the Spring Boot application is working fine. Let us go to our Pivotal URI. All right, we have got successful response from our application. The application is successfully deployed. This is what we had as a response for our get mapping. Now let us go back to the Pivotal Cloud Foundry environment and take a look at what is happening inside the application. So click on the application and you would see a set of different elements available in this page. There is service, there is route. You could see the logs here. This is what the log aggregator does in Pivotal Cloud Foundry. Then you have different task elements and there is a settings here. The settings, you can see the app name, the build pack environment, the port details, health details, and you have the security groups also here. Security groups are your virtual firewalls that control the traffic to your instances. One instance can have multiple security groups assigned to it. So all these things, and you can even delete your app directly here. All right, let's go out to the overview and take a look at this. For now, we have only one instance allocator and the memory allocated is one GB. You can automatically scale this here by enabling the auto scaling or you can scale this manually by clicking the scale uh, button here and providing your other instance here along with the memory allocations. With this we have completed deploying our first Spring Boot application to Pivotal Cloud Foundry. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more videos.